it is. Let's try to plug this in. The A9. Need a driver. Okay, so the wire from this one wasn't connected. So as soon as I connected, it worked. So deck one on Serato is actually on channel two of the A9. So deck two in Serato most likely will be channel three of the A9. Let's see, yep. Yeah. Okay, so. The green deck is in the middle as channel deck one in Serato. Deck two is in channel three of the A9. I guess this will be three and this will be four. The cool thing about these players is the um, they could they have dual layers. So this could be channel three. Let's go to uh, four decks. Okay, let's load song here on deck three okay so we're gonna play deck three yep and deck three is playing on channel one of the a9 i'm guessing if you go to layer two that is deck four on the serato let's see okay play that and boom Yep, so that's how it works with the uh, SC5000s or multi-layer media players. So you can go back through your layers and actually have four deck control with two decks. That's why I think the Denons are way better value than the 3000s. Unfortunately, 3000s are still way too expensive. These bad boys, I think I paid like 700 maybe 750 each and really awesome they can do a lot more than the 3000s let's see yeah if you restart and stand alone you can even do a beat source um really cool but that's it serato working with the a9 i didn't plug a speaker in because i don't want to get copyright flanked but uh, can't wait to hear what it sounds like. Something really cool I just realized also is that uh, touch screen, you can control any four deck on this side. So I could go to deck four, I can go to deck three, I can go to deck two. You just can't select whatever deck is over there. So that would be uh, a little too weird. But yeah, any deck that's not playing on this side, you can choose on this side. So let's see, deck deck two is playing over here, so I can choose any of the other decks. So deck one, deck three, or deck four. And the cool thing, it's all color coordinated.